Welcome to this video. This video will show an example of performing nodal analysis in a circuit that has one independent current source. This is one of the easier um, examples that we'll do, but hopefully it will help you solidify uh, the concepts associated with nodal analysis. So the first step in nodal analysis is to choose a reference node, and I've actually already done that. It's this node at the bottom. Uh, it's, some, it's typically customary to choose your reference node at the bottom, which usually is okay, but sometimes it uh, can make a significant difference in the difficulty of the problem if you choose a different reference node. So step two is to assign node voltages. So for this node, between the 1K ohm resistor and the 5 milliamp source, we'll assign V1. For this node, we'll assign V2. And for this node, we'll assign V3. Okay, we're already through um, two steps. And so far, it's gone pretty well. Step three is to apply Kirchhoff's current law at every node. And again, the purpose of applying Kirchhoff's current law to every node is to uh, get an equation in the three unknowns, which in this case are the three node voltages. And once we've gotten an equation, or three equations in three unknowns, then we'll solve them. So if we look at node one, uh, where we have V1, uh, we can um, using the pattern that uh, we talked about in the introductory videos on uh, nodal analysis, we can actually just write down what uh, this equation would be. It will be, whoops, in the wrong color. Let's try this again. It will be V1 over 1K ohm minus V2 over 1K ohm is equal to negative 5 milliamps. And the negative in front of the 5 milliamps indicates that the current is leaving the node rather than entering the node. OK. So again, the way we do this is we look at um, the node we see that there's a 1K ohm resistor connected to it, so that gives us the V1 over 1K ohm. Then we look at the other voltages, which are connected through resistors uh, to the node, and we see that V2 is connected through the 1K ohm resistor, um, and so that ends up giving us the minus V2 over 1K ohm. Okay, so let's look at node 2. Node 2, we have, um, we'll have a negative V1 over 1K ohm plus V2 times 1 over 1K ohm plus 1 over 2K ohms plus 1 over 3K ohms minus V3 over 3K ohms and this is equal to zero. Okay. Again, the way I got this, um, I have uh, node two connected to node one and to node three. That basically gives me the one k ohm and the three k ohm. Also, it's connected to my reference node. That gives me the two k ohms. The connection to node one gives me the minus v one over one k ohm. And the connection to node 3 gives me the minus V3 over 3K ohms. OK. Let's look at node 3. For node 3, I'll have minus V2 over 3K ohms plus V3, 1 over 3K ohms plus 1 over 4k ohms, and this is equal to zero. Okay, again, uh, the minus V2 over 3k ohms comes from the connection between node 3 and node 2 through the 3k ohm resistor. Uh, the V3, 1 over 3k ohms, it comes again from that connection, and 1 over 4k ohms, 
comes from the connection uh, between node 3 and the reference node through the 4k ohm resistor. And this is set equal to zero because there's no current sources that enter or leave the node. So there we have it. We actually have um, three equations and three unknowns. All we need to do now is solve the three equations and three unknowns for V1, V2, and V3, and we're done. So let's go to Wolfram Alpha, which is my current um, uh, tool of choice for doing this. And uh, we have uh, 1 over 1k ohm for V1. Uh, V2 has a coefficient of minus 1 over 1k ohm. It's at minus 5 milliamps. We'll put this into Wolfram well, Alpha. We have uh, V1 times 1 over 1k ohm, which is 1,000 ohms, minus V V2 times 1 over 1k ohm, and this is equal to minus 5 milliamps. Okay, so that's our first equation. Our second equation is going to be uh, minus V1 over 1k ohm, then the V2 stuff over here, and the minus V3 over 3k ohms is equal to zero, so let's put that in. We now have V1, or I'm sorry, negative v, V1 times 1 over 1,000 plus V2, 1 over 1,000 plus 1 over 2,000 plus 1 over 3,000 minus v, V3, is 1 over 3,000. And it looks to me like I've already made a mistake. This should be 1,000, not 100. And this one is equal to 0. OK. Let's go back and see what our last equation is. We have the minus V2 over 3k ohms plus V3 times this stuff. So let's put that in. And uh, it appears that it's reset my entry window. OK, so we have minus V2, 1 over, whoops, 3k ohms, plus V3 over 3k ohms, plus 1 over 4k ohms. And this is equal to 0. Now again, when I'm doing the computations, I'm not putting in units because uh, Wolfram Alpha and almost no other tool uh, will understand what the units mean. So if I hit Enter and ask Wolfram Alpha to do the computation for me, it um, gives me several lines, input interpretation. Uh, it gives me a result. Uh, it gives me a solution down here, and that's what I want. I'll click on the approximate form to get a numerical solution. And so what it tells me then is that V1 is minus 12.78 volts. V2 is minus 7.78 volts. And V3 is minus 4.44 volts. OK. So I go back to my original uh, drawing, and we can say now that V1 is uh, minus 12.78 volts, V2 is minus 7.78 volts, and V3, whoops, did the wrong color there. Let's try this again. Oh, this will be much better minus 7.78 volts, and V3 is minus 4.44 volts. And they should all have volts after them. OK, so that tells us the node voltages. Again, these node voltages are the voltage between that node and our reference node. 
Now we also need to compute i. i is going to be minus 7.78 volts. That's the voltage at node 2 divided by 2k ohms. That's the resistance that uh, this voltage is across. And when we work this out, we will have um, minus 3.89 milliamps, if I've done the math correctly. OK, so this is an example of, this is actually a fairly simple example of doing nodal analysis with a um, single independent current source. Again, independent current sources are the easiest things to use, or the easiest types of sources to use in nodal analysis because they show up uh, directly as part of an equation like this. So hopefully you found this useful, and we'll see you later.